Taylor. Two scores, first and third for Arkansas. Moving on now to the men's 800. Here's the way they'll line up. Jim Matten from Eastern Illinois, your fast qualifier at 149.76, will be in lane one. Keith Allen of Indiana, who won the Big Ten 800 indoors at 151 flat. In lane three will be Paul Ehring from Virginia. In lane four, Jeff Janes, a tight end from the football team at Idaho State University in the Big Sky Conference. Lane five will be Lorenzo Brown of Arkansas, another key player for the Razorbacks. Lane six will be Mark Fowler of Louisiana State. In lane seven, Charlton Hamer of the University of Illinois. And in lane eight, Gerald House from Texas Southern University. There are your men's 800-meter American and collegiate records. The NCAA meet standard, 147.26 by Earl Johnson. And the gun is up. Well, it's going to take two talents to win this race. One was getting to the final yesterday. The fastest times qualified, and they really sprinted the first quarter of a mile. Now, today, they may settle into a tactical pace, and you'll have to have the talent of being able to run a tactical pace and then sprinting at the end. But right now, Lorenzo Brown of Arkansas is proving me wrong as he's really bolted that first lap and made it an honest, fast pace. What a great story. Lorenzo Brown just turned 27 years old. He spent some time in the Army and ran in a junior college out west. But people who do that get a, a, a waiver from age standards that the NCAA has imposed to keep runners from outside the United States coming in and running at age 25, 26 or more against teenagers, 17, 18, 19 year old college freshmen in the United States. So Lorenzo Brown has been in the Marines for seven years, probably the oldest collegiate athlete in the country. 51 seconds for the first lap, and it is fast. He wants it badly, but Virginia's Paul Erring has moved in quite effortlessly, running with a wrap bandage on his thigh. Lorenzo Brown fights back, but there goes Jim Matten from Eastern Illinois, your fast qualifier in the heats at 149.76. He's not content to let this one get away from him, and now it's gun lap, last lap for Jim Matten. And Jeff James of Idaho State closing in. He runs a consistent pace, doesn't lift the knees a lot. He's just a plugger. He might be able to get Jim Matten off the last turn. And third place is in doubt, too. It looks like he won't make it in Jim Matten. In fact, I think Jeff James might have been caught at the finish there. By Keith Allen of Indiana, who was closing very quickly coming off the last turn. That was an exciting 800 meters set up by a 51 second first 400 meters by Lorenzo Brown. And the crowd is kind of silent because Arkansas was looking for some more points than that from Lorenzo Brown as we see him walking off the track. 149.8 unofficially for Jim Matten of Eastern Illinois. Let's see what happened around that last turn. I agree with you, Marty. I thought Jeff James there was going to get him. James runs an even pace the entire way, picks his way methodically through the crowd, and you see Keith Allen closing now in the red of Indiana. He's going to just, well, we've got to go a little farther to see. I think he's going to lose second place, and Jeff James will hang on for second. You've got it, Allen, for second. The photo timer will tell the, the story. Two of them right there at the finish. Photo timers. You can't always look at that white line. That's the finish. That's for the athletes. The electronic eye makes its own line. So unofficially at this point, we'll call it Jim Matten from Eastern Illinois at a possible track record 149.8. And Larry Rawson is standing by with him now. Jim, amazing first quarter. What went through your mind when you heard the split? That's about where I wanted to be. But I was in a bad position, kind of. Blocked in a little bit, boxed in. Wanted to be out a little more where I could move. So I got a little tight. Check our monitor over there. You made a move early in the race. There you are in the back stretch. Yeah, I wanted to go with uh, two and a half, two laps to go on the back stretch. I wanted to have the lead, which I got. Indoors, I figured if I had the lead, last lap I could hold them off. Okay, were you worried in the last lap? You were all dying, but did you have fear that you wouldn't hold on? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Who were you worried about most? Um, Hamer, Charlton Hamer. Who? Charlton Hamer, from Illinois. Okay. All right, well, you compete against him regularly out there in the Midwest. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, NCAA champion from Eastern Illinois, Jim Maiden. And my apologies to Lorenzo Brown. I said he was in the Army. He's actually an ex-Marine, finished sixth or seventh, unfortunately, in that race. That's going to be tough for Arkansas. We'll be back to see how they do in the balance of these NCAA championships when we return to Oklahoma in just a moment. 